Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to iron on with your easy press, how to iron on a quilt. And then I'm also going to walk through it and tell you the steps of how I created this quilt. So if you're looking for a super quick Christmas gift that you need to hurry up and roll out, this is a super fast quilt. This is about the size of a throw blanket or you could use it for a baby blanket. So if you need a quick gift, this is definitely it. Hopefully this video comes out pretty clear. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've already got my Easy Press on 305 for 30 seconds because this is regular vinyl. So what I want is I want it down there at the corner. So what I'm gonna do to avoid this bump here is I'm gonna iron from this way. So that way um, I don't have to worry about um, going over that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. So I think I've got everything pretty much where I want it. So let's go ahead and get this where it needs to be and hit go. So we're just holding this on here for 30 seconds and then I'm going to walk over the steps of how we made this quilt. Now on the last one that I made like this, whenever I ironed on the name, I before I sewed on the back, I quickly stitched all the way around the name to make it look like it was stitched on. And I did like a zigzag stitch all the way around every single letter and it came out really cute. But I'm not doing that for this one. This one's completely finished and then I put on the name. So whichever way that you want to do this. We'll let it cool down for just a second and I'll pull it off. This is, um, I believe this one is from Expressions. This came in my mystery bundle. I'll leave a link down below. On Wednesdays, they do like a little mystery bag for $5. And you just have to watch for it. They have like a limited supplies. So, but this is Expressions. This is probably, it's probably Caesar Vinyl is probably what it is. Okay. So, there is the name. So, it came out really good. It's on there really good. And this is on a quilt. So let me go ahead and walk you through the steps really quick. So this is what the blanket looks like, like this. And um, this is the back. I got like a brown minky for the back. The other one that I did, I already have it wrapped, but I did a gray and it has like airplanes. So this is a cowboy theme. So you can see like how many strips that I kind of put on here. I'm just trying to get it all in this frame here. Okay, so let me go ahead and talk about it a little bit. So what you're gonna need is six or seven uh, quarter quarter yards of fabric. So what you're gonna do is go, and you want it to be coordinate, coordinating fabrics. Hi Guadalupe. Um, so you want it to be coordinating, I've been making seven quilts, so that's why I haven't been on here. I've got seven quilts, I got two more to go. I'm almost done here. Okay, so you're gonna need six or seven of your quarter 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 yard cuts and then you want to choose ones that have good contrast. Like this is all from the same, um, it's from Moda. Um, and I want to say it's like cowboy or something like that. That's what this one is. So it's all kind of goes together. Um, oh, that's okay, B. Wiggins. I did a really quick video on that, so that's okay. Um, and I think I'm actually going to have to redo it because it seemed a little bit fuzzy. Okay, that, I was wondering why nobody had commented because it said, yeah. Okay, so maybe there was an issue. I accidentally forgot to um, turn off my internet, so that's probably what it was on the other side. So I'm probably going to re-record that one. Okay, so you got the six or seven of your quarter inch yard cat fabrics, and you want them to be coordinating. And then you need a yard and three quarters of backing fabric, which like I said, I used the minky. And what I actually did, I actually purchased a yard and a a yard and a quarter is what I purchased, and that was enough for me, but you just want to measure and make sure, but I only, it only took me about a yard and a quarter, and I did this minky, and this minky is $12.99 a yard, but with, it was like 14 something, I believe, with a yard and a quarter, and then I did the 40% off coupon, and I mean, it wasn't, but like eight bucks or something. Okay, and then you're going to need, um, now if you're not going to be doing this and you're going to do fabric, you need your batting. So you could buy that one from Walmart and it's like $4 and something for a crib size. That's 100% uh, uh, cotton. Then optional, you can add rip rack to the lines or anything like that. Or you can add, like I'd actually cut out a felt some cowboys that I was going to put on here, but then I didn't. I decided I didn't want to do that. Um, you could machine embroidery this or whatever you want to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your quarter inch uh, fabrics and you're going to cut them into strips. So you want to leave the... Um, the width, but you're going to cut the length. So you can cut this. So let me show you, for example. So how many times did I cut this one? So this one right here that you can see right here with the horseshoes, this is a quarter inch fabric. But what I did is I cut it one, two, three times. So when I cut these, I cut them all the exact same size. 
And then when I did this cowboy one that you can see here, I did this one a little bit bigger. And then I did, I believe, two smaller ones. So you can do it however you want to lay out your quilt. And then like these cowboy boots, I cut a little bit bigger. And then I cut two that are about probably about two inch, two inches a piece here. So hopefully you guys can see that. Then on this yellow one here, I did a big chunk because I wanted it in the middle. So I left, I went right in the center of the fabric and cut out a big chunk. So I used my I used my ruler here and I cut the center exactly the length of this, the width of this ruler. <coughs> Sorry guys. And then um, I did the two remaining strips that were on each side of the ruler. And I just loved how that came out. And then on this one here, the plaid one, it was a little bit bigger and I only cut it twice. So you can do it, you can either leave them whole like that or you can cut them into three, four, five, how many strips ever you want to. No matter what, the quilt is going to be the same size. No matter what. You're just going to cut them however you want to have however many strips you want. And so it's a fun, quick little project. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I just love these colors. Isn't this yellow like super pretty? Like I love this yellow. Like it's got like these browns kind of in it. And a little bit of white here and there. Like I just love this yellow. But um, this would be a super, like, you could go through your fabrics from, like, maybe your scraps or something and quickly put, or a jelly roll, and quickly put something like this together and then just iron their name on, on the bottom to make it personalized. And then what you're going to need is, I don't think I mentioned that, you're going to need um, a half a yard for binding. So what I did, you take a half a yard of, of whatever binding you're going to use, and I made it where the stripes went in this direction. And so that's what I did for this. So this is what I've been doing. I've been making these quilts and they're pretty big. They're the size of, let me see. This one is about five, five foot long. So it's pretty big. <coughs> and then, um, let me kind of show you another one that I'm working on right now. So I made the one that was like the pins. And then now I've been working with the same fabric. I made this one here. Hopefully you guys will be able to see it. It's kind of got like this, <coughs> I'm going to just cough today. It's got um, like this diamond type effect going on here. And then if you look at it um, kind of in here, it kind of creates like a star and all that. And I'm doing a self binding on this right now. So I'm just going around and bringing the back in. Let me kind of pull this down so maybe you guys can see. I'm just bringing the back around and doing like a uh, self binding. So all I got left is to zip up three more sides and I'm done with this one. And then I've got two more to go. But I just wanted to show you guys that just in case you guys, um, let's see. Yes, definitely. I think so. Thank you so much. But yes, these, I just love the way that the back of these quilts feel. Like they just feel so good. Uh, oh my gosh, I know. That would be awesome, Bee Wiggins. Um, Yes, um, yes I did. I used the maker. What I did was I purchased, um, I talked about that in a previous video. What I did was I purchased the triangle from Missouri Star. It's her large simple wedge. And then what I did, because she didn't like say what the dimensions was, so I had to purchase the triangle. And then I went in and measured it and then brought it into the design space and just repeated it multiple times and just cut it like that. So it made it such a breeze. And then on this one, I did not. I just cut the strips because it was just strips. But on that one, yes, on the triangles, I did. Um, and I did talk about that. It is something I am going to be doing in a video very soon. Um, yes, that would be so awesome, B. Okay, so that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you guys a quick project on that. So that way, in case you guys need a quick idea to roll out a blanket for somebody. Because you could either do this for a baby or if you wanted to get it for somebody to do a quick throw for their couch. Um, let's see. Yes, uh-huh, yep, and that's what's lovely, and because normally with this, like, you would have to sit there and stack your fabrics, I mean, especially, um, I was cutting out of yards, not like this, well, the white was cut out of yards, so like the, um, um, the, hold on, I'm trying to think here, the triangles was actually, um, the layer cakes, so you just lay your layer cake on there and make sure that when you do that, that your triangles are going to set right how they're supposed to, because that's why she made this. Make sure they set on there just right. 
and you're ready to go. But with your um, regular fabric, the white, I just took it and cut it by the 12 by 24, but I actually left the length. So I cut it by the 12, left the length so you could just move it up and not be wasting so much fabric. So, but like I said, if you're looking for a quick gift, this is super easy. You can personalize it and make it special. And you can use regular, because I mean, a lot of us have batting on hand, and so that makes it a lot easier. <coughs> I have a tickle in my throat today. <coughs> I'm telling you, it's awful. So, but anyways, thank you guys so much for being here with me today, and I will see you on the next one. I actually have one more video to do, so just stay tuned. <coughs> oh, let's see. Oh, I love it, B. Oh, I definitely understand. <coughs> I love it, Belinda. That used to be my uh, sister-in-law's name. Yes, that would be amazing. Well, that is awesome, Guadalupe. You're super welcome, Laura. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. I really appreciate it. I'm super pumped, too, because I think I'm at... 19 it was like 1925 or something subscribers so i feel truly blessed i'm just super excited about it and i feel bad because i've been kind of busy here lately but i had seven quilts that i've been trying to roll out so it's been a little bit crazy some of them are twin size some of them are thro uh, throw size like bigger than this because that's the one that i just showed you is i believe 60 by 60. so it's been a lot of work but i wanted to make each one of my nieces and nephews this year um quilts so, um, cause I think that's a better gift and then I just got them all something, something small, but I wanted to make them uh, a quilt that way it was something different, but, um, and then all my stockings really quick. Let me actually show you all my stockings before I go over real quick. Let me show you. I wanted to show you guys my finished stockings really quick before I went away. So let me move this quilt out of the way because I wanted to show you what they look like now that I finished them. So let's see. Same to you, Guadalupe. And thank you so much, B. And you're welcome. So this is what they look like. I've already got stuff kind of piled in here because my kids are bigger. My last one told me that Santa was the, you know. So I have issues. I'm not going to say, but you know what I'm talking about. So, um, so this is what they look like. But I wanted to show you because I don't think that they're all going to kind of pick up on here. Let me scoot them down just this way a little bit. And move back over here. Let's see. Okay. I love the way. Oh, thank you so much, Laura. Thank you so much, Guadalupe. Thank you so much, B. But look at the ones with the, uh, the striped legs. Let me kind of switch them around. So, I'm going to do this. So, the ones with the stripe legs, I just love the red ones. Like, these are now my favorite. And like I said, that's what I was trying to explain is I alternated the green. And these were cut out with a Cricut Maker. I did the video on this. So, I alternated the green um, and the red here whenever you do the pants. But I absolutely love this red. And these are from, these fabrics are from Hobby Lobby. And this felt is Hobby Lobby as well, 33 cents. The fabric I bought, I think, a half a yard. And it was like $2 a piece or something like that. And I just bought the green and the red. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this and hope you found it helpful. And I will definitely see you guys back here in just a second. We got one more video to do.